What's going on guys, it is Hero here, and today we're going to be doing a brand new type of thing on my channel. It's going to be a mod review. So, I'm sure as you can see right now, there's an obvious, there's obviously a mod installed because my, like, my Minecraft looks amazing. Um, but that's, Shaders is not the mod we're going to be reviewing today. It's actually the better PvP mod. So, I'm sure the first thing you see that's different is there is a mini-map in the top right hand corner. And what this mini-map does is it will show you where mobs are so if we go ahead and walk into the mod showcase area we have Bobby the cow and if you look right in front of that white dot on the minimap you will see a I'm sorry I'm getting messages um, there's a yellow dot and ye obviously yellow dots are mobs but not all mobs are yellow dots if we come on over here There is actually, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm pretty sure that mobs that are below you, they're, yeah, mobs that are below you, see how this squid right here is below me? Oh, well, I'm on the same level as them. If I come out of the water here, it's they're below me, so their dot is gray. And so these ones are way underneath me, so their dot is black. And there's also a latest death waypoint. I'm pretty sure you can turn that off in the settings. If not, that would be a, a pain in the butt. But yeah, let's head back in here. We also have some armor here and a splash potion of invis invis invisibility. Okay, so if you also notice that over, you should notice that in the bottom right hand corner, there is a thing that when you uh, are holding something, it will show you what you're holding in the bottom right hand corner but I'm pretty sure you know what you're holding. So I guess that doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put on all this diamond armor. Now you'll notice that beside my hot bar, there's my there's these armor pieces with numbers beside them. Basically, the blank out of blank is how much durability you have. And the percentage is how much percent gone it is. So for like right now, it's 364 to 364 on the helmet. And so because I haven't lost any durability on it, it's still at 100%. And it also, if we go ahead and give ourselves invisibility, if you look in the top, it shows your um, potion effects and how much time you have left on them. So we're going to go ahead and destroy these items. Actually, we're not going to destroy that item. Well, we already did. I need some milk here to get rid of this invisibility because it's going to bother me. All right, there we go. So we're going to walk back out here, and we're going to talk about some things. So I'm going to do slash game mode zero so another cool thing about this mod is that when you are hungry there will be a flashing notification up at the top actually what I want to change it to hard just so I can be hungry faster but I'll actually talk about that in a second uh, when you are low on health Let's see what I can do here. We're going to go drown ourselves here for a little bit. Wait for the bubbles to pop away one by one. But yeah, when you're low on health, there'll be a, a half a heart thing that comes up on your screen. It, it's kind of hard to explain. I just have to show you guys here. We'll be losing health, losing health. And I think it's when you get to two hearts. All right, come on. When's it going to come up? Yeah, see, right there. There's a flashing half heart that comes up on your screen when you're low on health. Hmm, is there any way that I could just get rid of my hunger really fast? Just because I want to show you. Oh, it's it's going away. It's going away, but first I have to do slash time is set day. Make it back to daytime. Come on, hunger, go away. I'm just going to jump around and everything until this hunger is almost gone. Basically, what happens is it's a similar thing how there's that heart there. There's a similar thing that happens when you're low on hunger. I'm almost there. It happens when you get to those three little like chicken legs or whatever they are. See? There is now a hunger thing on your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get me some steak from the creative menu. Foodstuffs. And there we go. We got some steak. 
and then we're gonna head back into game mode zero and then it, I, and then it just goes away whenever you replenish your appetite and if I get actually I'm gonna head back and to game mode one if I grab a potion of regeneration I'm gonna grab a splash potion just make this a little easier and then head back into game mode zero There, there is the potion effect again. Yeah, and the uh, half heart thing went away. So, um, I believe that's about everything in this mod. Oh, wait, actually, it's not. There's one more thing. I'll just lie to you guys. I'm sorry. We're going to get a skeleton. Everybody knows that when you're in PvP and you're being bowed, it always feels like you are like being sorted from behind or something like that. But with this mod, when you, when you get hit by a bow, look at that. That flashing bow comes up. And because I'm wearing diamond armor, this guy can't do nothing to me. So we're just going to punch him until he dies. And also, I have my particles turned off so you can't see him turning red. But yeah, that's really helpful. And... I believe this is only a client mod, so it won't affect like you being able to go on regular servers. So I'm actually, you know what? Let's test it out. Let's save and quit the title. Go to this, and we'll hit on Desired Craft here. Yeah, looks like it. You still have the mini map and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna end off this mod showcase here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to smack the like button. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft content. I also post other games, but my channel is mainly Minecraft. So let's see if we can smash 10 likes on the video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys Everything in the next video. Changes. Later.